Right now, we talk abandonment, tanks, and murder on Boss Battle. Welcome to Boss Battle number 81, a show in which the writers of Insert Coin to Begin er, come and get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. Jayton, and joining us as usual is Sorg. Sorg, what did you achieve in gaming this week? Don't worry about that flub. I'll completely fix it in post. Okay. I played three hours of GTA V! Yeah, I know, because you kept, you sent me uh, a quote. <laughs> what? Three, I, you you chatted me a quote, uh, a Trevor quote, and I forget which one it was, but I laughed because I forgot he said that. Trevor's the best. I didn't know if it would be funnier if you remembered he said that or didn't know that he said that. Um, but I figured you beat the game, so you wouldn't know. No, I, I got that. It actually it didn't spend very long in there. I was actually trying to squeeze it in a few minutes before... Uh, <laughs> Heading out uh, Sunday for the pay-per-view, but I I actually hopped in the GTA Online for the very first time, um, tried to, did my race, then I'm like, okay, how do I get out of here, when do I get out of here, ended up driving off with somebody, realized, oh shit, that's another player, and jumped out of the car. <laughs> and uh, then hey, so logged tell out. Me how, tell me how you took a shit in GTA. <laughs> <laughs> the that tweet was, was supposed to be, "Hey, just took a shot at GTA. Took my first shot at GTA Five. <laughs> Follow me as uh, as Sorgatron on Xbox." And then somebody said, "I'm not going to follow you." I'm like, "What's going on here?" Uh, also, <laughs> our friend Shireman says that is the most hardcore GTA tweet I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I accomplished I, something there. That's almost like the time that I meant to say the movie, where, the the episode, the video. Excuse me, the movie, the Star Trek movie where Spock saves the whales, but I didn't say Spock. Oh, oh, oh racism! Right, right. Oh, that made and auto that made Facebook oh, no. fails. There you go. <laughs> All right, Chachi, what you what you achieve this week in gaming? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with an open apology to Lamborghini and Lotus car companies. Um, (laughs) I've been playing a lot of Need for Speed, and I would like to apologize for what I've done to their cars, (laughs) Uh, both both in Rex and in looks. Hmm. Well, I've decided that if the cops are going to announce what my car looks like when they're chasing me over the radio, I'm going to make the car look as ridiculous as fucking possible. Pixar didn't happen. Um, oh, I sold the car, but I had I had a car that had a monkey on the side of it. Of course you did. Um, right now, I'm driving a Lamborghini that has a spoiler and a body kit that uh, fades from black to orange in dots. Nice. Yeah. Hey, when they chase um, you, do they say spoiler alert? No. Uh, <laughs> no, they, they don't mention the spoiler. Uh, they normally wow. mention the paint job and uh, the color. That's why I put a howler, howl, uh, howler monkey on the side of my car, because <laughs> I wanted to see if they were if they would uh, announce that I have a monkey. Did they? No. Oh. But I figured if, if they're gonna announce my car, I'm just gonna make it look fucking ridiculous. So they're like, uh, "We're chasing that clown car. Um, he's going really fast, guys." <laughs> mm-hmm. So I would like to apologize for totally destroying their cars. All right. Riz, what did you achieve this week in gaming? I can't stop playing World of Tanks. <laughs> oh, no. It, it it gets better. I'll get it, I'll get into it later, but it is getting to the point where it is pretty good. Hmm. Interesting. I, I, will, I will get into this later on in the show. All right. And I, I achieved. Uh, I, I actually turned on my PS3 this week. Wow! Um, you have to because my Xbox 360 would wouldn't play the WWE app, so I had to, <laughs> had to go to the PS3. <laughs> but no, I, I actually I actually uh, cleaned out my um, hard drive on my 360. While uh, I downloaded some demos, and I finally played a couple of them. I played Grid 2 demo, and I played the Zoo Tycoon demo, which I nice. successfully killed an elephant. Yay, wow. Bobby! Yeah, that's what I achieved. So does it give you an achievement? No, it doesn't, because it's a demo. So, <laughs> all right, we're gonna move on to our next segment, which is across the net, 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 net with Chachi. What do you got for all us right. this week, Chachi? Oh, so this week, um, let's start with the uh, runners-up. Uh, Mario Golf Bag. 
it, the site is a Japanese site, so you're not going to be able to read any of the details, but they have some nice pictures of it on there. Um, but it, it's a fully decked out uh, Mario golf bag. <laughs> Says you, um, I'm going to go get Rosetta Stone. <laughs> And, and FIFA 14 announced and admitted that they used a picture of Pele in a hot tub for his profile pic in FIFA 14. <laughs> um, yeah. so those, those are the, wow. That's yeah, amazing. So those are the runners up. All right. First off, a, a jewelry store in New York mm-hmm. um, through Friday is running a promotion where if you purchase an engagement ring – that has a three quarters carat diamond center stone. You'll get a free Xbox One. <laughs> Wait, what? I need to find a That's lady, right. and then I can get an That's Xbox One. Ladies. <laughs> so, um, I, I I said in the post that a lot of nerds are uh, asking all lady friends if they want to get married so they can get rid of the ring. Um, but yeah, buy an engagement ring, get an Xbox One. <laughs> uh. Next up is a, a parody video. It's uh, Mario as a sitcom, and the an- animators, which is Esquire Bob Animations uh, over on YouTube, did a video of Mario as if it were Seinfeld. Oh, no. Is Toad um, George Costanza? Oh, Louise, yes, he's crazy. No. Oh, man. <laughs> but uh, it, it's awesome. amazing, honestly. Um, it, it's hilarious. It's about uh, – if I remember correctly, about five minutes long. Um, this definitely one's, worth this checking one's... out for the theme music alone. <laughs> the theme music is this incredible mashup of the Seinfeld theme and the Mario theme. Nice. Hmm. Um, so it, you can go over to the post. Yeah, it's embedded, so you can check that out. And the thing I found most amazing this week is I, I've talked about it uh, a couple times so far, but uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon is still going on. Um, uh, as of Monday, it was up to 26 million viewers and has anywhere from 20,000 to 80,000 players at a given, given time. Uh, it's so successful that the people that are doing it have already announced that once, (laughs) once the chat room somehow finishes this one, they'll move (laughs) on to the next in the series. Oh, jeez. Um, and they're doing I, it, I, and but that's not the amazing thing. The amazing thing is about half of the players in the Pokemon chat room are there to play Tetris. <laughs> uh, it turns out that along with uh, Pokemon, the same guy started another chat room or another another stream. And what they did is they took the chat room from Twitch Plays Pokemon. They connected it to another one controlling Tetris. So the chat room from Pokemon, about half of them don't realize that they're also horribly playing Tetris. (laughs) That's, like, I, it, that's awesome. It, I spent – I'm not – I wish I were kidding about this, but I spent 15 minutes watching the Tetris stream. I 14, love- 14 of the minutes, they were stuck on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> they played wow. a game of Tetris, got to level two in a minute, and then crashed horribly. <laughs> I love this this mashup stream where it's both the Tetris and the uh, Pokemon at the same time. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, uh, there's a picture and a link um, in the post. Uh, but it also gives you stats. Yeah. Uh, it tells you, uh, it shows how often at the current time uh, each command is picked. I, so. I actually saw a graphic online about the the Twitch plays Pokemon thing. And they had a comparison of, of 20 episodes into the show. The Twitch plays Pokemon people actually got further than Ash did in the episode. <laughs> it was like 20 episodes into the show. So yeah, that, I thought that was funny. Uh, it, but uh, it, it's incredible. If, if you have some time, uh, if you're playing a video game or something and you want to watch something out of the corner of your eye, I definitely recommend this. Um, I, I have to give major, major props to the guys that did this. 
because uh, it, just from a, a viewer standpoint, it, it's amazing to watch. It's probably the most watched thing on Twitch ever, maybe. I, I think I, it's I'll getting check. there, probably. Yeah, it, yeah, it's definitely getting there. I um, think I, I heard somewhere that I saw a, a graphic that uh, they had a it was they had a, the most powerful powerful uh, helix they had, mm -hmm. and they just let it go. <laughs> uh, no, uh, what well, happened? Well, yeah, they let it go. What happened is uh, they got stuck in a Pokemon Center. Mm -hmm. next to a computer and let go 26 Pokemon. Oh, no. <laughs> um, of course they did. Uh, uh, luckily, Bird Jesus is still alive. They still have Bird, Bird Jesus, Jesus, which is what they're calling the Pidgeotto they caught. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to see uh, that. I just want to see that. No, I want to see Bird Jesus. It is amazing. Like... It, a whole new culture is popping up from <laughs> the tw from the 80,000 people playing this game. Wow. Because, I mean, you have people there to play, and then you have people there chatting and making up funny stuff about the game. <laughs> I want to know how many, how many uh, magic carp there are in this game. <laughs> <laughs> in his collection. That is all I want to know. Riz. Riz, 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 buddy. Yes. <laughs> you're you you're under the belief that these people are able to actually stay near water and pull out a <laughs> fishing rod. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean you're talking about the group of people that accidentally you're... released Zapdos <laughs> and twenty five other Pokemon. Oh, no. Yeah. Not Zapdos. So I, 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 um, I, but still, I'm but still, I can sure. I can see them sitting there and waiting for a waiting for multiple Magikarp to appear. <laughs> I just I, I can't see them not doing that. And just We're using about gamers here. As as we speak, they probably have one, and they're trying to use Splash in every battle. <laughs> because right. It's probably well, we're maxed gonna, out, ready to evolve, and they didn't. They're not doing a damn thing about it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna move on to our next segment, which are things Fish you should be aware of. Uh, Riz, I think you are going to talk about World of Tanks right now. Huh? Uh yeah. I, uh, like uh, like you guys said last week, I wasn't on the show last week. Uh, that's when I You're first... You're too busy playing World of Tanks, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's when I first started to gather my uh, abilities in World of Tanks. Uh, I, I wrote in, I, I wrote this in the article itself on Insert Coin. If I wrote it the week I got it, it would have been a totally different article. Because when you start, it is pretty bad because you die in an instant and you have like a weak tank and you get one shot probably. You can get one shot off and just get obliterated by the other players. Um, but as I, grew, as I grew into the game, I realized that I'm getting better because I'm getting better tanks. I'm getting better... I think I'm getting a better sense of how to play the game. And World of Tanks is one of those games where you have to believe that you're going to get better. And then you get better. And then you can, you know, destroy other tanks and obliterate them just like you were obliterated. It's so fun. Also, it's so it, fun it's to see you explode. It's also one of those games where, despite it being a team game, you have to remember that your teammates aren't going to help you for shit. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, hey. There is no organization in it at all. I mean, you can you can try How to... Many, uh, Chachi, you've played the game. Yeah. How many times have you seen the, the uh, that little code, the uh, affirmative and negative and move forward and attack. How many of those have you seen on that game um, while playing? While playing, maybe two per game. Two? Yeah. You haven't been playing much, have you? Uh, I played uh, Friday night for like, probably four hours. 
I can I can honestly honestly say that the, that all they do, all my teammates did, was point to affirmative and negative <laughs> five times in a row. Oh, uh, see the guys say anything. The guys I've been playing uh, playing with don't haven't done that a lot. Oh no. Um, like you would think that everyone would be on microphones for the game so they can <laughs> communicate. Nah. Maybe maybe one microphone. And you hear like crappy music. Yeah, and, and you hear like background noise, no one's talking. Um, maybe uh an infant in the background. Cause some, par- some parents uh neglecting their child while playing World of Tanks. I played I played a different online game. I played this Arisen game or whatever, and there were little kids everywhere, and I'm just like, I'm I'm not playing this. <laughs> yeah, well, that, it, the thing is, there's not a lot of like little kids playing this game. No, <laughs> like, that's a good thing. It, I was shocked. Yeah, and I have to say, the mic thing is pretty cool because you don't you don't hear all of the 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 gay remarks or the the fags or the I fucked your mom last night from the stupid ass gamers but um yeah for a team game very little communication no <laughs> but still you don't really need that much communication you find a tank and you shoot it well yeah but you get more points if you win the game oh yeah and so, and let, let's be fair uh it is not a team deathmatch type thing it is more uh, I called it a one flag domination. Yeah, I think that's pretty clear. It is, um, but it's also a last team standing. <laughs> and if you die, if you do get blown up, you have the choice of either watching everybody else on your team, or you can just go back to the garage, as they call it, and uh, use another tank until that ta- until your other tank is done in battle. He keeps a tank which in a think, garage, <laughs> which I think is pretty a pretty cool idea. Yeah, it that, it actually makes the the game a little bit better, mm-hmm. um, because you don't have to wait. No. Um, <laughs> it, given er, er, as long as you have other tanks in the garage and uh, you didn't just use their last tank, mm-hmm. um, yeah, there, there's other games that you can play. <laughs> so it, it, if you it, and. Did I mention this is a free game? It is a free game. But still, um, you, you, it's a freemium. Yeah, so I was yeah, going to ask. Technically, it's a freemium, it's a freemium game? game, but you don't have to buy anything. No. It, it, to, to really affect the gameplay, they have gold that you can buy, which will then help you buy spots. So you don't have to delete your or sell your tanks to the, you know, for silver. So you can put another spot, another tank in there. If that's, yeah, that's a good, good assumption. But I mean, I, I, yeah, I, you can do that or you can just play as is. It, it's yeah. not it's not necessary uh, to buy things to level up your tank. Hmm. All right, well, we're going to move on to our next story. Um, Nintendo actually is uh, wanting you to buy a 3DS, guys. Um, they're giving you a free game in the month of March. Um, Nintendo is offering a free download code in March for Pokemon X or Y. Um, to do the, to get this, you have to um, buy a 3DS, a 3DS XL, or a 2DS, and choose one of five games to also buy for it. There's Mario Kart 7, Mario 3D Land, Animal Crossing, uh, New Leaf, um, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, and Lego City. And then there's a sixth game they're going to add when it comes out on March 14th, which is Yoshi's New Island. Um, if you buy any of those games and a 3DS, 2DS, or 3DS XL, and register both of them, you get a free code for Pokemon X and Y. Uh, Riz, I think uh, you said you were thinking about getting a 3DS. Is this going to influence you even more? Eh, I don't know. I, it, I'm still in between, and it really didn't matter what I wanted. Like, I don't really want to shell out $149 mm-hmm. plus another game just so I can play Pokemon. Yeah. Like, I, I like Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I, I, as a kid, I enjoyed the hell out of playing those games. 
but I'm not going to purchase a single thing unless I'm excited to buy it. True. True. What do you guys think of this deal? Well, I actually have a question for you. Okay. If someone at this point were seriously considering buying a 2DS, mm -hmm. would you just tell them to go ahead and get the 3DS? Because we're talking $50 price difference. Yeah. Yeah, the 3DS. I, I would – the 3D is just – it's, it's kind of neat. It's like a niche thing, but it's it's really cool. I, I like my 3DS. So I, I would recommend the 3DS or the 2DS. Plus, it folds, and it you know doesn't take up as much room. It folds. It folds. That, that, that's, what, that's, yeah, that's your point about the 3DS. It, it folds. folds. <laughs> it it's not, doesn't look like a piece of cake. <sighs> a wedge of cake. Oh, like the 2DS does. Yeah, the, T the 2DS looks like a wedge of cake. So, but yeah. It folds. <laughs> All right, moving on to our next story. Um, Candy Crush uh, is no longer, well, the, not Candy Crush itself, but King, the makers of Candy Crush, are no, are no longer seeking the candy uh, trademark like they were before. Um, they've abandoned that idea. Um, they are... Uh, let me see here. Uh, they're they're actually buying. Um, since they bought the other co the their competitor that had the name Candy, um, they're totally just not gonna bother with uh, copywriting Candy. So that's a good thing. Uh, I don't know if they're still going after Saga or not. Um, what do you guys think of this? Do you think it's a good move by them? I think they just got like carried away a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, they, I think so. They're gonna they were going to trademark the word candy. Why? Okay, I, 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 know, think... I know I know it's because of the candy crush saga and all that crap, but what why do candy? Why not saga or crush or something? Well they they were they were still trying to to trademark saga. I can see that, but, but I, I don't. Another I think thing, too many people contested it. Honestly, an yeah. a, another thing they uh, they are banning the application in the U.S., but they're still still uh, going for it in Europe. So that huh. doesn't really make a lot of sense. <laughs> no. But yeah. I don't know. I I've given up caring about Candy Crush. Yeah, I think do. I think it's actually awful what they did to the other guy. Uh, they basically took his game that he made like a couple years ago and just stole it from him, basically. So, hey, you, you know, from what we heard, you can, you know, just take it down. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Flabby dong. Follow the dong. <laughs> Follow the dong. <laughs> <laughs> dong. All right. And our final story, uh, Chachi. Um, I think you have a story about a mass murderer. <laughs> yeah, I do. Um. <laughs> So apparently in Europe, if you're going to commit a, uh, a major crime, uh, it's the place to do it. What? Uh, in Norway, uh, in 2011, a, a guy went on a bombing shooting spree, killing 77 people in Norway. Yes. His prison sentence is 21 years. Wow. Yeah. So, I, I mean, uh, let's start there. I mean, uh, that's that's a hell of a sentence. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm covering this on a video game site. His name is Anders Brivik, mm -hmm. and he recently filed a complaint claiming torturous conditions within the prison system, uh, demanding a list of 12 items. Uh, of note, those items are uh, better video games. Yeah. Uh, adult video games, Jeez. a new computer, a recliner or sofa, and his allowance doubled. <laughs> but ma'am, now, now let's start. Let's start at the beginning, okay? This guy flat out stated that he used Call of Duty and World of Warcraft to prep for the killing spree, which is bullshit. Yeah, saying that it helped his aim. Mm -hmm. Which I don't see, but whatever. Yeah. Um, so in prison, 
a maximum security prison. Uh, he is he's whining because he only has a PlayStation Two with games like Rayman. Oh no! Um, his computer is too slow to use the internet. Uh, fifty dollars a week or fifty euros a week isn't enough, and uh, he has to sit on a hard chair. Oh! You sit there and you think about what you've done. Oh, literally. Yeah. There's so. Yeah, there's... a mass murderer is upset because uh, he only has a PlayStation Two. There's wow. listen up, listen up, listen up, listen. So uh, yeah, you're a douchebag. <laughs> Plain and simple. Durs, you are a douche. I hope you don't get any of that, and I hope you get rammed in the butt. <laughs> Jeez. No, he's in separation. He's not allowed near the other prisoners. He'll separate something, all right. <laughs> <laughs> separate them right. butt cheeks. Well, that brings us to our final final round. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what three games would right, if you could request time. if you could no, only no. play three games what three games would you guys play if what if we could only play three games what three games would they be out of oh, any really? any game really yeah that's your question is this like yeah. stuck on that's... a desert island mode yeah, or yeah, stuck, yeah. stuck in a jail cell asking for his allowance exactly to be yeah like you could <laughs> yeah if you only had three games to play ever, what three games would they be? Oh, man, that's so easy. Go for it. Do they have to be the same system? No. Like, is there any other... No, it's just whatever three games you want. Uh, Legend, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Super Mario okay. Bros. 3, Tetris. Okay. Done. Mm. The right. three greatest yeah. games ever made. <laughs> okay. How about you, Sword? Um, similar. Oh, that's on me. There I am. Uh, similar. Now I'm taking another thing. I, I, I would say, yes, Mario three. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say, uh, Tetris. Okay. And I would say GTA five okay. because you can do a ton in there. Yep. Wait, is online mode available? That seems like no. the type of thing that wouldn't no. be available. You know, even, I, I, even if you don't, there's still a lot to do in that game. Your Xbox yeah, isn't true. fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. All right, Riz, what would you pick? Well, even um, then... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I, no, I, go ahead. Even then, uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is a long-ass game. Yeah, it mm-hmm. is. And mm-hmm. it, too, has a lot of stuff that you can do. Mm-hmm. I almost considered that Zelda thing, too. Uh, originally, I was thinking to pick three. My, my initial pick was GTA, Assassin's Creed, and I was considering your Ocarina because it was just games you can do a lot in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you'll you'll burn out half a sentence uh, just looking for the damn feathers. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh, Chris, let's see. What would you pick? I, pi- I would pick... Uh, I, I too would pick Grand Theft Auto Five, mm-hmm. and I would probably either pick either uh, either N sixty four Zelda game, Majora's Mask, or uh, Ocarina of Time. Not both, um, but I would also pick the Mass Effect one of the Mass Effect games, probably two. Yeah, two's the better one, I think. Two is the way better one, and I would probably pick that over one and three, because there were, and like you guys said, there's a lot you can do in that game, mm-hmm. and even if you do beat that game, you're you can go back and do a totally different game with a totally different set of attributes, with totally different ways to play it. So you know, to keep my mind fresh. I would probably do that. Well, that's what Tetris is for. Mm. I wouldn't want to be doing the same thing over and over again, though. You're going to be anyhow. <laughs> All right. Uh, before I give you mine, um, we're going to go to the chat room. Uh, Wheels picks Goldeneye. Good choice. Uh, WWE okay. 2K14 and Pac-Man. Uh, good choice. And Matt good. Carlin's picked Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. NHL 94 oh, and Matt GTA Carlin's 5. Matt picked something. 
not good enough to come to his party, but he's good <laughs> enough to participate. Wrong yeah. show. All right, wrong, wrong show. show. Okay. Anyways, um, and my my picks, I pick Skyrim because there's tons of stuff to do in that game. Big open world, uh, lots of free time. Um, I would also pick GTA Five, another big game like that. And I would pick. I know you guys are gonna hate me for this. Final oh. Fantasy X. Oh. Just because the story is uh, so thank engaging. God. I thought you were gonna it, say Avengers Alliance. Holy hell! No, no, I no. <laughs> Bobby, no. Bobby, no. Final Fantasy X. And the have... re-release is coming out soon, and I'm gonna get a. I'm, I pre-ordered it. And I'm gonna have it soon. I'm happy. So leave me alone. Well, it doesn't matter. It's gonna take you five years to beat it anyhow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> sick burn. So, so there. So that I've beaten but, Final Fantasy X before. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Five but years. Sorg, with with your it. with your uh, rebuttal for uh, Bobby's, since since you thought it was Ma- uh, Marvel Avengers Alliance, uh, who would send him ISO eights? Yeah. No one. Nobody. <laughs> Bubba, yeah. Bubba from because down the block. No, <laughs> no one else. Some of them would be ISO eighted. Hey, I'll trade yeah. you ISO eight. ISO eight. They'll be trading ISO eights to like cigarettes. Out. <laughs> I was gonna say. Yeah. I was gonna say. I'll Probably trade you just get turned into us being in prison. <laughs> it's like Oz uh, all over again. Could you imagine if just it was like us four in a prison, but they gave us video games? Oh god. What if no. like like what if? Oh, here's an idea. Don't, nobody steal this one. Instead of video game high school, it's video game prison. <laughs> oh, Wirecast. <laughs> video game Oz. Uh, oh. All right. And on that note, we're going to that leave nasty, now. Nasty, nasty. Uh, you can follow oh, us man. on Insert Coin to be TV would on be... Twitter. You <laughs> can go to the website insertcointobegin.com. New <laughs> articles going up daily. And you a Nintendo you... boy. <laughs> <laughs> and Chachi, why don't you tell everybody about Chachi plays? Oh, details will be released Monday for donation right. slots and uh, maybe tournaments. I don't know yet. Hey, do you guys think I should get medals or trophies for the tournaments this year? Trophies. I think me- medals. In the, in the spirit of the Winter trophies. Olympics, just ending. Medals. Trophies. <laughs> Sword. Right. What? Sword. What? Trophies. Trophies or medals. Trophies or medals. Um, I want to go with medals. I think it'll be easier to do medals, right? Yeah. Well, you'll be easier. Well, I mean, again, easy. I'm with you. I'm with you on the Olympic side. Okay, the office used Dan and cups. Dan and cups. So when I win, I won't trophy. Uh, first place. I, I've already figured it, this part out. Uh, first Is the place, Tierra coming back? No. Um, we're oh. do, uh, no. The, the the Tierra was a last minute idea, honestly. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, uh, what's going to happen is the first place in each tournament will receive uh, the medal or trophy um, that were uh, whatever we decide on. And then we'll also receive a championship belt. Oh, nice. oh. very nice. Um, so, Will it look like the Divas Championship? <laughs> no, actually, it'll be a modded uh, spinner belt. Oh, nice. So. All right, and with that, you can, we want to remind you you can join us every Tuesday night at eight o'clock on live. I forgot the website, com. and you can go donate at chachiplays.com. So, all right, that's gonna do it for us. Game over, guys. <laughs>